Corning's new Gorilla Glass Victus is here, and it promises to make phones tougher against drops and scratches. So maybe your next phone could be a lot better at surviving one of these. Under normal circumstances, I'd probably be subjecting this glass to my own set of durability tests. But instead, we get to see how Corning puts its own glass through the ringer and the slapper at its test labs in New York. Since the launch of Gorilla Glass 6 in 2018, the company has been working on toughening up its glass. This time, rather than just drop resistance, they've also made scratch resistance a top priority. We saw Gorilla Glass Victus survive a 2 meter drop compared to the max 1.6 meter drop for Gorilla Glass 6, and it's twice as scratch resistant. And it's the combination of both these qualities that's going to make your phone a lot tougher to crack, even after multiple falls. If your phone hits a smooth surface, chances are it won't break. But if it falls on a rough surface, then it's game over. Even if it doesn't break right away, once you introduce a scratch, the glass becomes much more vulnerable to cracks and it gets weaker and weaker over time. That's why Corning uses sandpaper to drop test devices, because it closely resembles the texture of asphalt. But it's one thing to see it from Corning, and it's a whole other thing to actually drop your phone on the sidewalk. Good news is we won't have to wait long to see Gorilla Glass Victus out in the wild and test it out for ourselves. Corning says that Samsung will be the first manufacturer to use it in its phones, and judging by the launch cycle, that means the next Galaxy Notes, and potentially the next iPhones after that. Apple has been using Gorilla Glass on its phones since the original iPhone. But even if they're using the same type of glass, don't expect the same results across the board. That's because Corning works hand in hand with manufacturers to tweak the glass to make sure that it fits the exact needs of each individual device. Plus, there's a lot of factors that affect the durability of the glass. Thickness, the shape, curved or not, and the weight of the phone can greatly affect how much damage it can handle. And it's not just the front and the back glass that's getting tougher. Corning said we could also expect the camera to toughen up as well. This has been a sore spot lately as the modules have become bigger, thicker, and have crammed more lenses in. As for their bendable glass, well, this one's not it. But the company says it's still working on that bendable glass solution that we got a sneak peek of a few years ago. And while it may not be ready for prime time now, it is coming to the foldable phones of the future. In the meantime, there'll be plenty for us to test once these new phones hit the market. And who knows, maybe this is the glass that finally convinces us to ditch the case, and maybe even the screen protector too.